He's got the crossbow or the bow and arrow. <gasps> nah, dude, I don't believe that. What is going on, guys? Logs here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're reacting to Diaz Biffle's new Warzone kill record. I've been watching this guy since the beginning, man. This is my favorite Warzone player to watch. He's absolutely insane. To the point where literally everyone accuses him of cheats. Like, everyone accuses him of hacking now. Um, which is, honestly, I can see it for most parts because he goes crazy in these games, dude. But this is his new Warzone kill record. It just uploaded today. And he always plays with uh, Repulsive. Pronounce it Repulsa. I don't really know how to pronounce it. His name's Hector. And then Super Ev, uh, Evan. He's just an amazing guy to watch. I love watching his raw gameplay. He doesn't have face cam, but he's super, super entertaining just for raw gameplay. It's actually insane how uh, how insane he is. So a lot of people accuse him of cheating because of how good he is, but I don't know. But sometimes I think it's a little sus. Sometimes I think he's just, you know, the best in the game. But I'm eager to see, man. He drops like 55 bombs all the time. Like he always drops a lot of kills. So they landed Superstore. It's a really hot drop. I never land Superstore anymore because all the demons go to Superstore, like Biffle, so I try to stay away. So he's already got three off the rip, though. I mean, they play quads, and this guy literally goes solo quads every single game. Like, he'll just rush teams of four and always win the gunfight somehow. He always comes out on top. It's actually insane watching him play. And I actually learn a lot from watching him play. Like, he's really good about making engagements and not making engagements. Like, he knows when to engage and when to sit back and, you know, kind of let them uh, come to him. So, you know, playing solo quads is very hard when you're going against a team of four and you're all by yourself. It's very, very hard. I mean, we're talking about a guy who normally drops 50 a video. Like, he drops 50 all the time. I've seen a million videos with him where he drops 50. So, it's actually insane. What the... He's got the OTS and EM2. That's pretty much the meta loadout right now. OTS is sub and then EM2 AR. That's pretty much the two meta guns. He's got five off the start. It's uh, trios, Biggie. Oh, they're playing trios. They're not even playing quads? What? I thought for sure they'd be playing quads for his for his all-time record. Promenade looks a lot. Yeah, they got a ton of people at Promenade. But uh, yeah, the new Vanguard map, I've seen so many pictures. I'm so excited for the new Pacific War uh, Warzone map. I'm, I'm eager to see if they change the movement, if they keep this Modern Warfare engine movement or if they make the Vanguard movement where it's uh, nerfed for uh, slide canceling and stuff. Oh, he can hear him easy. What a play, what a play. Dude, helicopters are so clutch. And I saw planes, pictures of planes on the new Vanguard map uh, for Pacific. So it's gonna be awesome playing with planes as well. I think those are gonna replace the helicopter. I did see that there's gonna be a war zone mode where it's just Vanguard guns. So it's just World War II guns. And then there's gonna be a mode where it has all the guns. So it's, it's gonna be cool to see how that integrates. It's coming up on a lot of people. It's got four on the radar. How do you even see him? Like, I couldn't even see the guy. Now this is pulled from his stream though, so he's got a lot better quality obviously off the monitor, but three right there? They're playing trios? I thought, is it trios or quads? He said trios earlier, but there was four on the map. Hmm. Oh my God, right behind him. Dude, his movement, man, he just flips around. He's got the crossbow for the bow and arrow. Oh, <gasps> nah, dude, I don't believe that. Dude, dude, how did he do that? How did he do that? What? Oh man, dude, my helicopters always blow. Whoa, whoa, my helicopters always blow up. I'm surprised that their helicopter's still alive. People shoot mine down so quick. Got 16 with 91 up right now. That's actually really good. Dude, his air shots. People shooting him out of the air is so hard, but DS Bill was literally the best in the game for shooting people out of the air. Like his tracking is amazing. It's so good that people think he has like, you know, silent aim or whatnot. 
I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like I want to react to some of those exposed videos where they break down his clips because I actually have watched a lot of those. Um, some of them are just ridiculous, like stupid. Like you, you, you can tell it's, it's not like hacking. And then some of them are look pretty sus. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I like watching just Biffle's gameplay in general. Hacking or not, I, I could care less if he's hacking, to be honest. Like if he's hacking, hey. But uh, I just enjoy the content. That's that's literally the point of making it. So I, it doesn't matter to me if he's hacking or not. I just like I just like watching him. He's got such good movement too. I think the biggest thing about him is the best mix of movement and aim. Like look at that. How did he know he was there? Did he have a radar up? Yeah, they do have a radar going. Uh oh uh oh uh oh. Man, they blew it up. They still have their heli, which is clutch, because he's got 21 with 79 up. Like, look at those shots! Like, how do those hit? Like, every single shot. He's actually insane with his aim. There's also, like, visual awareness. He knows where everyone's at. It's actually crazy. Like, it just... It, it would seem like he's hacking, but I don't really fall into those conspiracies. Oh... That was, that was a demon, too. That guy was pretty good. Dude. He's so good with the cracks, too. Like, even if he doesn't down them, he always cracks blue armor, usually. The problem with the EM2 is the, the ammo. The EM2 and the OTS both only have 40 rounds. Big disadvantage. If, the, if those had 20, or I'm sorry, uh, 20 more rounds, like, if it had 50 or 60 rounds in the EM2 and OTS, Literally be perfect. OTS got nerfed a bunch too, and it's still good. Where are you? Yeah, they definitely got a bot lobby going. He's got 27 with 65 left. Going into games, trying to get like the world record, or, like your highest PR or whatever, it solely comes down to the lobby. Like if you get a really good lobby where they're not dying and people are staying up or people are getting bot back, it's super good, but it comes down to luck essentially. It solely comes down to luck of the lobby. You can get a really, you know, easy lobby, but you die right off the start. You can get a, a really hard lobby, but everyone stays alive and it lets you get farm the kills. It solely comes down to luck. I mean, obviously there's bot lobbies and people complain about uh, streamers always having bot lobbies, but if you play eight hours a day, you're eventually going to get a bot lobby and that's usually the one you do well in. So I don't know. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think people think that like uh, the VPNs and stuff, quote unquote bot lobbies are like foolproof when in reality you can use a VPN and maybe one out of 10 games is an actual bot lobby because the, the VPNs, I have not seen them that where you could just get consistent bot lobbies. Damn, he was literally right out the door. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, how do you hit those shots? Like, the fact that he has no recoil when he shoots, too. Everyone says he uses Cronus and stuff. Nah, dude. If he uses Cronus, he's actually at a disadvantage. Like, genuinely, if he uses Cronus, he's at a disadvantage because your millisecond response time from the controller to the game is increased. So, if you have like a normal scuff controller or plugged in controller, you can have like a one second or 0.5 hit right there. If you have a Cronus or any like hardware or whatever, it's whatever you say, uh, plugged into your PC, it's actually taking longer from hitting the button to get the signal to the game. So it's actually puts you at a disadvantage, even if it gives you like less recoil or whatever. Golly, he just smoked that guy. Jumped over the trash can, just destroyed him. So me, for personally, I have a scuff controller and I overclocked it to have a 0.5 millisecond response time. That means it takes 0.5 milliseconds for me to push A and for the guy to jump in game. So if I had like a Cronus, it might increase it by like 10 milliseconds. So it's not a crazy increase, but it's, it's definitely probably visible. It's definitely probably noticeable. Dude, he, his knocks are insane. That's a perfect headie he had there. 
No way. I just realized he has 9,000 subs. Holy crap. Imagine having 9,000 subs. I think being a full-time streamer would be an awesome gig. Um, it just depends on like if you can keep your fan base for like 20 years, you know, like if you make enough money like Diaz Biffle 19 years old making insane amount of money a month He's set But like if you can't keep that fan base for a long period of time, that's what scares me like not having a consistent uh, Consistent money flow, you know, so if you bought like a really really nice house, but you have a really bad year of streaming uh, you can't pay it off then that's what scares me when I think about like, you know, pro streamers or uh, Full-time streamers come on Ev. He's got 37 with 36 left Dude, I'm gonna turn the volume up and I'm gonna shut up because I want to watch how this unfolds, dude It's a long-ass video, but god damn prison looks crazy. Holy cow prison looks crazy, dude That's cracking there Damn, he actually got his armor off. One sec, or a second, sorry, yeah. Or I'm stunned. I have a push. Oh, you gotta make those shots. Damn. You're running. What is he doing, dude? He was not even paying attention. Oh, fuck, I gotta reload. Tracking's a little bit off there. If he had aimbot, I feel like he would hit those shots. You know? You know? If he had aimbot, I feel like he would hit those shots. But hey, maybe, maybe, maybe he turns it off. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> I'm just trying to debunk all the people who say he's cheating. Even if he is, it doesn't bother me one bit, dude. I still love watching the gameplay. But I, I highly doubt he's cheating. Oh, he got pushed to the bottom and he still got it, dude. He still got it. Oh my gosh. People say Aiden's good and I love watching Aiden. I love watching Joe Wo. But they're not dropping these gameplays. I mean, Aiden's the only other person I can think of who comes close to these type of gameplays. What was that? He one shot a dude across the freaking map. God dang. Goodness gracious. 43 with 29 up. I'm gonna predict that his new record is 63. I think that's that's gonna be his new record. Actually, he's probably dropped 63 before that I just don't remember. Maybe it's 67. I don't know. His new PR. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what the world record is for uh, kills in Warzone. I want to get like a hand cam. I want to. What was like? What was he doing? I want to get like a hand cam for this dude. Diaz a hand cam, see what he does, what he plays. Oh my gosh, dude. We're just gonna pick him up one by one. What is that guy doing? He must have just landed in. That sucks. This, this spot sucks. I, I thought it would be a little bit better. Down. That guy needs a jump. Okay, 53. 59? Damn. I was thinking he would get 60. Oh my god. Oh, the music's coming in. It's high. I don't know what his high is. I don't know what his PR is. 55. Yeah, I'll let him heal a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Dude, how do you hit those shots? He's got 56. Have you seen one over here? 58. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Fifty eight, bro. New record. Dang, man. Subscribe if you're new. 
all the road 10,000 subscribers drop a like on the video go check Diaz Biffle best Warzone player in the world I'll see you guys in the next one deuces